to Nice Radio every Saturday at 7.30am for A View from the Outside, hosted by Brayton Horn. A View from the Outside takes a look at key issues affecting St. Vincent and the Grenadines and gives a global perspective on how these issues are viewed. Host Brayton Horn will examine a variety of topics to enlighten, stimulate debate and explore solutions. Hear the facts, hear the real life stories, hear A View from the Outside. Join Brayton Horn at 7.30am every Saturday on Nice Radio for A View from the Outside. Out of view from the outside this week. This week being the 21st of March, 2020. We look at CONCERN, C-O-N-C-E-R-N, CONCERN, with the view being that it is of vital importance that Vincentians singly and collectively are aware of the global concern about what is happening around the Caribbean region and around the world regarding the devastation and the potential devastation of the coronavirus, COVID-19, and ensure, at very least, that all of the necessary precautions and protocols are adhered to, because to do otherwise can and possibly will lead to devastating consequences. The Macmillan Dictionary defines concern as a feeling of worry about something, especially one that a lot of people have about an important issue. On Thursday, the 19th of March, 2020, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the head of the Commonwealth, in her message to the United Kingdom, the UK, regarding the coronavirus contagion, expressed her concern for UK citizens in the face of this devastating pandemic. She said that the UK is, and I quote, entering a period of great concern and uncertainty. And she added that the country's history has been forged by people and communities coming together to work as one, unquote. It is worth noting that the Queen expressed her concern following the extraordinary advice from the UK government for the public to avoid all unnecessary contact, travel, and to stay away from pubs, theaters, and any public event. That advice was issued by the Prime Minister after export modeling suggested that such approach could cut the estimated coronavirus death toll from 260,000 to 20,000. At the time of the Queen's concern, the coronavirus had caused 137 deaths in the UK. That number continues to rise daily, and it now stands at 177. It is also worth noting that the number of infected cases in the UK stands at 3,000. 983. Since the Queen's concern, since she expressed a concern, the UK is now on virtual lockdown. Travel is severely restricted and people are losing their jobs at an alarming rate. The devastation caused around the world by the coronavirus is reported extensively in the media, including social media. China is a country to be initially affected by the contagion, and the world 
already knows what happened and is happening there in China. Italy, which is on lockdown, is experiencing untold infections and thousands of deaths. The army has been called out in Italy to assist bring of corpses there. Spain is having a similar experience to Italy, and so too is France. Many cities and towns in the USA and Canada are also on lockdown. Borders are shut except for essential travel. Many countries around the world, including countries in the Caribbean, have taken precautionary measures and have put things in place to deal with the effects of the coronavirus. The contagion is everywhere. The concern is everywhere. The effects are extensive and severe. There are hundreds of thousands of infections. There are thousands of deaths. Health services are stretched beyond limit and in some countries cannot cope. Travel is suspended. Many events, including sporting events, are canceled. Countries are locking down. They're shutting their borders. Millions of job losses are happening. Many people across the globe, in, including the Vincentian diaspora, are losing their jobs. The effects are literally unquantifiable. No one knows when this will end. Hence, concern is paramount. And because of that, no one can afford to be complacent. No leader can afford not to take the appropriate measures to protect its people, to save lives, and to minimize the extent of the impact. No citizen can afford not to show concern, not to be concerned about what can happen if there is a serious outbreak of COVID-19 in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, because lives and daily living will be extensively impacted. It is out of that concern that we, on a view from the outside, sound the call to all Vincentians to become aware of what is happening. And we encourage you to express your concern for all for everyone and for the country itself. All Vincentians must become aware and show concern for what is happening around the world. Because even if St. Vincent and Grenadines is miraculously spared from the effects of huge numbers of people being infected with the coronavirus and any extensive loss of life, the economic effects are likely to be catastrophic. There is a distinct possibility that the knock-on effects of the lockdown of countries with the Vincentian diaspora can be severe for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. With many countries shutting their borders and restricting travel, there is no doubt that food importation into St. Vincent and the Grenadines will be affected. There is no doubt also, similarly, any exports from St. Vincent and the Grenadines will suffer. With untold numbers of people losing their jobs in the Vincentian diaspora, the financial impact on the Vincentian economy can be severe. Vincentians must show awareness and concern about that. The concern coming out of all that 
must be that the financial ability of those in the Vincentian diaspora will be weakened severely. They will be unable to send financial support to family and friends back at home in St. Vincent and the Grenadines if they are out of work. On a view from the outside, we call upon the leaders of St. Vincent and the Grenadines not to dither. We call upon them to show concern and not put Vincentian lives at risk. We call upon them to show concern and put measures in place to minimize the spread of infection of the coronavirus. We call upon them to show concern to ensure that all the necessary steps are taken to protect Vincentians. We call upon them to tell the country of their plans to get food and medicine in, into the country. We call upon them to reassure the nation of whether they have sufficient emergency supplies for the hospitals and health clinics around the country. We call upon them to share with the nation the government's community action plan. We call upon them to tell the nation of the plans for education when the schools are closed. In this crisis, the protection of Vincentians must be of paramount concern and importance for the leaders of the country. No leader can afford not to show concern now before it's too late. The protection and needs of the people must take priority. This is an international crisis. It is a crisis which abounds everywhere, and it must be treated as such. And so, a leader, especially one who has genuine concern for the safety and security of his people, must be all-inclusive of his people. He must not take deliberate steps to exclude any of the people he is meant to lead. Vincentians, we, on a view from the outside, say that this is a time of grave concern. Everyone needs to come together on this issue. We call upon the Prime Minister of the country, the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and his administration to tell you, the people, how they intend to protect you and your family and keep the nation safe. We call upon them to tell you how you can access medical help in a crisis. Medical help in the form of ambulances, medicines, and food supply. We call upon them to tell you about the time scales for the COVID-19 tests. Tell you how and whether these tests are done expeditiously. We call upon them to tell you how you can access testing, especially if you have no money for a doctor. We call upon them to be honest with you and with everyone. We call upon them to be honest with the nation. The concern for leaders around the world to act responsibly is expressed at the highest level. The Queen expressed her grave concern for the people of her country. No doubt, implicit in her address is a clarion call for the leaders of the country to act for the safety and security of all people. Vincentians, let us all make the call to the Prime Minister of our St. Vincent and the Grenadines to show concern, show a responsible approach for the safety, security, and protection of all Vincentians, especially all Vincentians in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And as we make the call, let us remain focused 
And let us all observe the words of the author, Nabil N. Jamal, who in his book entitled The Second Harvest said, We are so often stared by our leaders towards the irrelevant so as to overlook our main concerns, unquote. I'll, I'll repeat that. We are so often stared by our leaders towards the irrelevant so as to overlook our main concerns, unquote. Vincentians, do not overlook your main concern. Do not overlook our main concern at this time, which is how St. Vincent and the Grenadines can be affected by the pandemic COVID-19, which has befallen the world and is fast upon us. Until next week, Randy and all of the listeners, this is Britton Horn with a view from the outside, with a reminder to send feedback as usual to a view from the outside at hotmail.com. We also invite you to visit and like our Facebook page at a view from the outside, and also to visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel at JMB Horn. You can also catch us on Vibes Caribbean.